Hey guys, today I made doggy style from Jojo Leon, and before I start explaining my steps, I wanted to take you through some of the process before I start to sculpt. I search for reference photos online and usually use the Jojo's Bizarre Encyclopedia, and I'll link that in the description box below. I also have all the volumes of Jojo physically, so I like to bookmark each page wherever the specific stand is drawn. I used volumes 16 and 17 of Jojo Leon for this project. I bookmark each page because it gives me all the different angles and viewpoints of the stand so I can make it as accurately as possible. And going through the volumes also helps keep my memories fresh of the story. After I have all the reference photos, I sketch out or trace the size I want of the stand so that it's proportionate. It also helps me plan out what I need to do. In this case, the stand has to be very small because the wire I'm using is very thin and I want it to be proportionate. There are many delicate pieces and I had to be careful on how I combine them so that it can hold up its own weight. As usual, I started by grabbing a piece of foil and hammering it down. I check to make sure it's consistent to the size I want and I poke holes where the legs would be put in place. After that, I started working on cutting and shaping out the legs. I used regular sculpting wire because I didn't have any thicker wire at hand. It's very pliable by itself, but because there are going to be 8 parts to one leg, I wasn't too worried about it. I knew assembling the legs were going to give me a hard time, so I began to work on the torso. I smoothed out the clay and made sure there wasn't space between the clay and the foil, and I started to add the details. This is the finished torso. Now onto the part that I was dreading. Stability wise, I knew the legs would hold up, but having them stand up together was an issue. I placed the legs out on a thick piece of clay and bounded them with another wire. I then repeated this process for the other leg.
Here's what they look like up close. I baked them exactly like this with clay covering the top of it so that when I break off the stabilizing piece, it'll hold up. I then started to prepare the torso for the head. After I finished sculpting the head, I poked the hole through the torso to place wire for the head and neck to stand up. Now that the body was finished, I started to add clay to cover the binding wire and added the little details. And here's what it looks like completely assembled and baked. I use a lot of E6000 to hold up the piece right below the torso. And lastly, I started to paint the whole figure.
Here's what the finished product looks like. I originally planned for this sculpture a while ago, but when Jojoleon Chapter 100 dropped, I knew that I had to make it soon. I really love Rai and the current arc, and I can't wait until October for the next chapter release. Like, favorite, subscribe, and check out the links in the description below for my socials. Join my Discord to talk to me and support me on Patreon. Thank you to my patrons, Hamon Beat and Cloudy. Thank you for watching. Bye!